I am actually so hot in this, but I'm trying to make myself look different and slightly different in each like video. Um, because I've literally this is my third video. <laughs> um, but I am now gonna do my November TBR. Now I picked six in the month of October and I read three of them. Um the three that I didn't read, I'm not gonna put back in. I'm just gonna go off what's here. I've managed to rearrange them so the ones here, none of them are, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no. But the rest are like here, this front part here, and then there's two hardbacks here. Um, but other than that, that is it. Um, I think I put on like, I think about like 30-ish when I first um, like put the raffle tickets on. Um, I think I might use this jar as my actual TBR prompt jar. And then if I do like the raffle thing again, then I might use that smaller jar just because i'm thinking that current jar is a little bit full with prompts so it'd be nicer if it was in here um but yeah let's open this up shake and let's pick one last time i don't know that one kind of opened up so i'm gonna i'm gonna fold this back up and then i'm gonna put it back in um, but that's the problem. They've been in here that long that I um... Okay, so we've picked one. Now, last time what seemed to happen is most of them came from this middle row. Um, barely any came from, because the ones down here, some of them had been at the back. Basically, none of them had come from the back. Um, and then there was like one up here, which was, let's split up by Will Wood. Um, we tried to read last month um but yeah so which oh we accidentally picked up two i'm just gonna pick up the one that was like on the top um so we have 172 um oh. <laughs> found it i've just got too many perceptions first book on my tbr is north wind by alexandria warwick um i know that the second book in this series the west wind like the west wind is coming out i think it's this month actually um so this will be good to get through it is just over 400 pages which it doesn't look like it like it actually looks like it would be like 350 like, I have Divine Rivals next to me, which is less pages. And that literally looks like the same. And how many is Divine Rivals? 350. Just over. Literally. And this feels barely any different. Oh, and it has a map. I do like maps. I don't consult them, but I do like to see them. Like, it's just a night. Oh. It's just a nice little addition. Um, and then the, um, and it's just plain underneath the dust jacket. But I wanted to look. Um, I thought it'd be fun. First book picked, and it is a fantasy. Book number two. Oh, I picked up two. There is a grey one. I My thumb was covering the number, so I'm folding that grey back up but i'm still going to use the gray one because we had a lot of red last time i think number four i will show you number four i think is on here um there was just a lot of books that were on here found number four and this is Where He Can't Find You by Darcy Coates. Um, this is a thriller. Oh, look at that flop. Um, I forgot to say what this book was about, actually. It's a lush and enchanting fantasy romance inspired by Beauty and the Beast and the myth of Hades and Persephone. I'm not going to read anymore. Um, I know I did it at the time when I bought it. Um, but yeah, the front says, A mortal woman, an ageless god, a union that will save the world or destroy it. And then at the back it says, may his death be a symbol, death to my grief, 
death to my tolerant, death to the dark water that has closed over my head. I partly picked it up because the cover is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I know that the West Wind is beautiful as well. I do wonder whether it's going to be like another retelling. Um, that would be fun. But it says, don't, I'm going to read like the little tiny snippets. It says, don't walk alone or the stitcher will find you. Don't stay out late or the stitcher will take you. Don't close your eyes or the stitcher will remake you. Um, and basically there's a missing friend and they try to, um, these friends try to get their friend back. And like at the start of like the, like the different parts, but they're cut as like different rules. Um, and they've got these beautiful like pages. She has a lot of books out actually. This does sound interesting. I think I picked it up from 66 books. I did consider putting books on from what I know were on my 24th, 2024. I thought actually I'm not going to and it would just be easier for me to just stick to this rather than add. Um, because obviously I've got no guarantee of getting them anyway. Whereas this is just a guide and I can still pick up the ones that I'm pretty sure are on my 24th, 2024. There we go. I picked up one. One, six, three. I'm pretty sure it's on this way. One, six, three is Fairy Tale by Stephen King. This is one of his fantasy books. I did read Carrie back in September and I did enjoy it. Um, which is obviously one of his like horror based things. I know that Ashlyn and Ian have read this recently and it's kind of like a slight grim telling, like not towards like grim, um, like Grimm's telling of fairy tales, but it's definitely got like a darker side to the retellings and it just has a lot of like different fairy tales incorporated. And so would definitely be an interesting read. It is a chunk of a book. Like it's just under 580 pages. Would definitely need to be a book where I could get grips into it. I love how so far all books, are, all my books are like different heights. Like as you can see, they're all on like the same level. Even when I try to get this one down, you can tell there's a height difference. Um, which I just think is quite unusual. Um, but yeah, let's pick book four. I'm gonna go for six. I don't know whether I said that. Um, Cause then that way, if I want to try and knock off some of those that are on my 24 for 24, um, I can kind of easily do that. Um, one, six, six. Um, was this one of these ones? No. Hehe, <laughs> it was. 166 is Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. This is a cowboy romance, um, small town kind of thing. Along the same lines as like the Chestnut Springs series. This is a shorter book. at 321 pages and this is the first romance so it'd be quite nice because I've got two fantasy a thriller and now I have a romance to make up for it I do think though if I get keep getting like fantasies I will probably pick out like a seventh um but I don't know one seven two oh god no oh god I've just technically made it seven by accident, if I'm not mistaken, by what 170 is. So I've not finished the first book. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've not finished the second book in the series. <laughs> Magnolia Park's Long Way Home. I haven't finished Daisy Hates. I'm still 40 pages in since like April. This is just under 530 pages. Oh dear. We're not picking out a seven because obviously that's like a romance-esque but Daisy hates which I have just here. Oh, I need to order a bookmark. I have this bookmark for 
um, literally Daisy hates, as you can see, it matches. I need to order a Magnolia Parks one. I didn't have one for um, when I read Magnolia Parks, but I now want one. Oh my god, it's getting me to spend more money. I'm just gonna stick Daisy Hates on there as my like little thing. So that makes it number five. So one more. Do I even wanna pick one more? Because that's a lot of pages. Is this grey one? Yeah. I did a lot of red. Number six, which means again it's gonna be on long hair. And we have another romance. Okay, um, and I have yours truly. This looks red because I bought it used, um, because it worked out cheaper. Um, yeah, this photo is Brie, um, and Jacob. I read part of your world and really loved it. I think I rated it at five stars. I can't remember. It or it, it was like a four point five at least. So I'm excited to get this one. Um, I know that it's based in like the hospital setting um it will obviously be the, the same hospital as where um the, the first book kind of started off in i believe but i'm excited to get to this one because i know that this is it's part of an interconnected standalone series but that is book number six obviously i've added the technical seventh where it's like i kind of I knew what I was playing at when I added The Long Way Home to my TBR and that I would have to read Daisy Hates first. This feels quite long. Um, I feel like I'm holding about 3,000 pages here. This feels like a good 2,700 pages here. Um, and that's just in seven books. None of these are on my 24th, 2024 either, which is sad. Although I do think Magnolia Parks had been. Um, obviously I think my first port of call should be getting my way through this because I'd read 46 pages. I will say for the Daisy Hates ones I don't like that there are footnotes. It does take away a little bit. The Daisy Hates books are shorter um, but I have, although I haven't picked it up, I have enjoyed this book so far. Um, I just had a lot of books on my thing and I do definitely want to get through some of my ones that have been on here for a while. Where the Crawdad's saying I made some slow progress on it last month. I think I did a tiny bit of progress on this and this and the book of beginnings. I didn't work on the Fox of King though. Do I do the raffle tickets next month as well? Or do I go back to prompts? Um, but yeah, that is obviously the six books that I have picked for this month and then my honorary seventh because of Daisy Hayes. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what books are on your um November TBR because Again, it is to be the broken record and say, I literally say what everyone else is saying. This year has gone so quick. It's genuinely so, so quick. Like, it's literally wild that in, in like a month's time, potentially less, depending on how on it I am with my um, December TBR, like filming, um, that that is. It's almost, it is literally almost time to do January. And obviously the 25 for 2025. There is like a Lisa Jaw book on there. Like on my 25 for 2025. But I'm literally not sure which. Like is it the house we grew up in or did I put Invisible Girl or did I put both? And yes, this is Coke in the Wine Glass. I do own Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. And I do own Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage as well. So I could do a like catching up on series i'll see with if i did read dress for the summer that would be i think me caught up with the series because i feel like she'd do another one but i'm not sure what videos can i do that relate to these books i actually don't know continuing series i'm in the mid finishing series i'm in the middle of and then find like a book where it's part of a duet because then i'm finishing a book i don't know i really don't know what to do this is my own existential crisis, not yours, so piss off.